Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I have a couple quick tips when it comes to dealing with hierarchies and parent and children relationships. Just a couple things to keep in mind. So I have a cube right here with two keyframes on it doing a little bit of animation. So if we put this into a cloner object, let's throw it into a cloner. Let's put the spacing up a little bit so you can see it better. If we hit play, you're going to notice that nothing happens. So the cloner is ignoring the keyframes that we have on that cube. So the cloner is looking at the first thing nested inside of it and it's ignoring the keyframes. So what we need to do is trick the cloner into seeing those keyframes and it's really simple. Just click on the cube and hit alter option G. That's going to put the cube inside of a null. Now the cloner is going to look at the null and say, hey, there's no keyframes on there. Um, but it's not going to look at the child of that null. So two levels deep, it's not going to look at that. So it's going to let those keyframes pass through. So if you ever have an object that you need to animate inside of a cloner and it's not working, just throw that guy into a null and it should work fine. And now you can do some cool stuff like we have looping options under transform. Uh, we have animation mode play. We can also do loop. And then we're just going to have that loop over and over. All right, so that's one thing that might uh, be of use when you're dealing with hierarchies. Another thing is if we have an, a parent and we put an object inside of it, so now we have two cubes, and we want to move uh, the child cube over a little bit. So the reason you might do this is so that we can hold down the parent and rotate it around and the child is going to swing around it if you're doing a satellite or anything orbiting. Um, you can also add a camera and have the null be the parent and rotate the null to get some really nice camera animation. The problem with this is that if we want to move that parent anywhere around, the child is always stuck with it. Well, there's actually a really quick way to do it besides taking the child out and moving your object and then putting it back in. If you want to move the parent without affecting the child, just hold down the number seven key. So hold down seven and then move and you can see that they are no longer attached. And then if we let go of seven, now they're attached again. So that's just a really quick way of affecting the parent. Just hold down seven. Let's go to rotation, hold down seven, rotate it. Now let go and you can see that you can move the parent without affecting the child just by holding seven down. So those are just a couple quick tips when dealing with hierarchies. I hope that they're useful to you. Thanks as always for checking on the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.